Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Plant Fanatics. Today we're going to be talking about citrus trees, so stay tuned. Today we're in my greenhouse and I want to talk about one of the most common questions that I'm asked about citrus trees and it's why are they defoliating in the winter? And that's a really good question. I actually made a video about this in the past but uh, some people are having a hard time finding it because it's so far back. So I wanna go over this again. So right here next to me is my almost nine year old lemon tree that I started from seed. And you can see it's actually doing pretty well. You can see in some of my other videos that it's actually defoliated in the past. And the reason this one is not defoliating, I've done a lot of experimentation with this. And this one is not defoliating because I've had it in a warmer location. I've kept the root zone warmer than my other trees. Now, in contrast to that, if you follow me over here to this Mexican key lime, you can see it's almost completely defoliated. And that doesn't mean that the tree is dying. It just means that that root system is having a little bit more trouble uh, with the temperature fluctuations. If you let the root zone of these trees get below 50 degrees, you can definitely expect those leaves to start yellowing and dropping. Now, to prove to you guys that this tree is actually doing really well, even though it's defoliating, if you come in close, you can see all of the flower buds forming all over this thing. It is still gonna produce fruit. So if your tree is dropping its leaves, it doesn't mean you're not gonna get fruit. Uh, leaves defoliating is just meaning that the tree's under a little bit of stress, which sometimes can actually help the tree go into fruit. So maybe if you've had a tree that hasn't fruited in the past, uh, a little bit of stress might actually be a good thing for it. Now, here are some of my other citrus trees. I haven't moved out of the greenhouse right now because I've been doing some work inside of the greenhouse but you can see some of these leaves are starting to yellow. They might fall off like that. However, that is not hurting fruit production. You can see all these fruit here. This is a harvest just from today. Um, down here, we've got a massive lemon still growing on this Ponderosa lemon tree. Uh, this kumquat tree um, is actually doing pretty well this year. It's got all of these fruit still on it, but my point being, just because the leaves are starting to fall off of your lemon tree or your orange tree, it doesn't mean the tree is in bad health, it means it's stressed out. Another example of a perfectly healthy tree that is losing some of its leaves, if I grab that, it just falls right off. Uh, some of these leaves are ready to go. But if you come in close yet again on this Persian lime, we have got some flower buds starting to form there. We've got some more flower buds right here and we've still got some fruit hanging on the tree, which are almost ripe. So once again, just because it's defoliating doesn't mean the tree is unhealthy. A few other things to think about when you're growing citrus trees in containers is one, humidity, very important. Try to keep a high humidity environment. Uh, another thing is to maybe hold back on your watering in those colder temperatures a little bit so we don't cause root rot to the plant. Very easy to do with citrus trees. Um, another point is to have as much sunlight as possible. A southern window in your house is perfect. A greenhouse obviously is perfect, but as much sun as possible. And if you don't have a full sun area, uh, maybe think about getting some grow lights. They make some great LED options that are super cheap to run and will keep your uh, fruit tree very happy and healthy. Thanks so much for checking out the video, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and share with any of your friends who might find the content interesting. And as always, check out the AmericanFigCompany.com for any of your fruit tree needs. We have a lot of great varieties of cuttings available right now for figs, so check it out. Thanks so much, guys.